This video, I'm gonna show you probably the easiest cover three beater in Madden 24, really simple and uh, really just very effective. It can literally beat any cover three. It can also do pretty good job against cover three, cover four, cover two. But in my opinion, this is by far the best cover three beater. Now we know in, in Madden 24, kind of the meta and the way a lot of people like to play this game is in a cover three or cover four shell, whether that's cover three cloud, but also oftentimes we're seeing this free safety zone blitz type of back end coverage. Now this comes to us out of the Colts playbook. We're going to take a look at the play double post today. And uh, I think this is probably one of the most, like at least top five plays in this game because of how effective it is for attacking this cover three coverage. So a lot of people will set up kind of a coverage defense that looks something like this. And they're trying to trigger this little A-gap blitz. So I'm going to give you two tips today. First, how to beat the cover three, and then also how to block the blitz. So to block the blitz, what you're going to do is you're going to block your running back. You're going to slide to the right. And then you have a couple different options. You can ID this slot corner on the left-hand side. If you really want to pick up the A-gap uh, aspect of this blitz, you go ahead and double-team that nose tackle. And then the route combination is we're just going to streak our, our slot receiver. And then from there, you have a choice. You can leave the C route and basically quick hike them. Another thing that I like to do personally is I love to put a backside drag. This is going to create a concept that I've talked about for last couple of years in Madden known as the uh, post drag shallow cross type of concept where we have a high post and then we have an underneath uh, drag route. So what you're going to see here is we're able to pick up the pressure. Of course, I say that I get randomly a-gapped. Trust me, this picks up the pressure. Um, practice mode can be a little wonky sometimes with this blitz specifically. So uh, let me just kind of try to hopefully pick this up so again i or a double team and then typically id in here you can also id here just because i'm sending the four man i'm gonna id there just to make sure that doesn't come in but what you'll see here is because we don't send a vertical route the post should be open i don't know if i maybe was open there or maybe it was covered there because i because i um rolled out i'm not sure let me try that again let's see here this time, I think it will be a little better. Yep. So you see how there's that little pocket right there that we can kind of hit in the defense. And this is a very effective cover three beater. And it really does manipulate because a lot of things. So if we think about this practically, what are they going to have to do to stop this? This user is going to have to run with that post route more than more than likely. So what that's going to do is it's going to open up this backside drag. OK, so again, I'll just try to hopefully this practice mode. These blitzes randomly kind of scream as almost like shed defenses, but you see how there's this little window. Now, if the if for whatever reason the third is playing that as good as he's playing in practice mode, he shouldn't be playing that. But if he is playing that for whatever reason, that might mean that they're 30, and it also might mean that they're deep happening. So one way to simply counter that, very simple, is we're just going to leave the C route here on the left side. So what I like to do if I'm going to leave the C route is I'll go ahead and leave this in route, and I'm going to send five out. So when you send five out, especially against – this kind of pre-snap look, make sure that you're double teaming this guy, the nose tackle, because if you don't, you're going to get a gap. So you double team this nose tackle right here. Now, if they blitz you, the pressure is going to come from the slots. So oftentimes one of your quick routes will be open, but in general, very simple. And then what you'll see now is that third will never, ever get back now. And as you can see, you know, we're able to beat cover three over the top pretty effectively. Now, another very popular defense a lot of people like to run is kind of a cover four base so it might look something kind of like what you see on your screen right here. Now, typically, this defense is going to have two yellow zones underneath. If it doesn't have two yellow zones underneath, it's a little bit easier to manipulate, of course, because the user really has to sit on the running back route. So again, same basic idea. And what you'll see here is if I have enough time in the pocket as I get randomly just shedded, I'm going to go ahead and drop eight just because of the sheds and practice mode so you can kind of see accurately kind of what i'm talking about with the with the route combo in game these sheds i guess unless you're playing edge protect or um whatever those prelits are with no secure pros then yeah that might be the, the sheds but normally they're not that bad so anyway what you'll see here is if i wait on this you see i can throw this kind of over the top and kind of hit it in that little window right there so it leaves the defense with a decision to make and ultimately they're going to lose that game because oftentimes here's what we're going to do if you're playing a really good player, they're going to take the solo wide receiver side corner and they're going to put him in a deep half. And the defense is going to look something like this right here. This guy might even blitz just to kind of speed you up a little bit. OK, so these are kind of the standard adjustments that you will see. So because these are the standard adjustments you will see, what will happen a lot of times is if you see that corner kind of bailing back to go guard that, 
then what you're going to be able to do is just throw this right here and take kind of an easy completion over there on the left hand side of the screen. So this makes this route combination super, super efficient and effective against really the meta. It's very, very good against cover three specifically because cover three just can't really handle the double post post. So what this means is they have to go user the double post post route, which then in turn is going to allow you to basically throw this right underneath. So you see them climb to that post route. You're going to be able to throw your running back consistently underneath. And it's still kind of the shallow cross uh, style of concept. And again, here you see, now they stay underneath. So then I can throw this. Uh, and I had to wait a little bit longer to throw that. But you see the idea. Again, if they put this guy on the left side in a deep half, it's really important that you make them kind of pay with the C route. I think that C route is one of the most important routes when we talk about Colts bunch in particular, because that C route really does make them pay for using any kind of deep half. Now, the other coverage that is, is kind of likely to get would be a cover two. And I think cover two honestly does a decent job against double post because it kind of floods the middle with zones. So what you'll see here against the cover two is this little window right here can sometimes be hit like right over the middle, right when he comes kind of under the right side deep half. There is a tight window that you can hit. And I, I mean, it's a very like it's a very narrow window uh, to be able to make this throw. And I'll show it to you here again. So you see he kind of comes right there. It's crazy. I just got shedded like that in a three man rush. But anyway, I'll show you one more time here and then we'll talk about kind of what you can do if they are running cover two. So you see you can kind of throw this kind of right there. And, and again, I said like. You know, that could be very well intercepted. Uh, so it's a, it's a very tight window to throw it. So what you can do is let's say you're playing somebody, you know, and, and they're running this kind of cover two style defense. One of the cool things you can do with double post is go ahead and just run it stock. So just run it just like this right here. And what you'll see is this crosser will actually be able to be thrown on that left side, basically right over the deep half. So the deep half will play the post. And then you'll be able to throw this crosser for a, bitty, uh, a pretty big play. So you see here again, kind of same idea. But look at the crosser. And we'll throw it kind of right there. And you see how you can kind of manipulate uh, the cover two. Another way to manipulate cover two, if you know that this is something that they're doing, they've been running a lot of DB fire on you or something, just motion this post route out. What this is going to do is it's just going to give you a little bit more space. And now you can really manipulate cover two over the middle, as you see, and kind of hit these little pockets. So that's double post. I think probably the best play in the game this year. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, where we not only teach you how to run this play, but we teach you how to run the entire offense. Get in the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to get better at Madden. You get access to everything for ten bucks by being a member. All ebooks, all updates, everything. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.